Hey guys, this is Jim with the Glasses, and I'm streaming Puzz 3D Victorian Mansion. Finally, back at the mansion. We're back. <laughs> All right. Let me get this worked on. Let me get this set up. Bum -ba -dum -bum -bum. I think we're okay. Okay. Let's see. Mount. Yes. Bum 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 bum. All files. Bum 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 bum. Oh, wrong thing. I need to go up one. Wait, why isn't it? Huh. Should be under crap. Why isn't hey DS6? How you doing? I'm don't know what I did with this. Why isn't it coming up like it's supposed to? Nope. Okay, there we go. <sighs> hey girl cyclist. I had a panic because it usually comes up with this and it didn't. I have to I always have to mount this before I start it. Um, more to glitches and I I don't know what was going on but it didn't come up in the right area it definitely terrified me because I was like this game isn't gonna load how you doing Colonel nothing but a sea of pink and gray hopefully this sounds working do I plug into the right thing I don't just yeah I got it's not the Windows 98, it's what I have to do to get it to work. <laughs> I'm familiar with Windows 98. <laughs> I cried when they discontinued the <laughs> they discontinued the operating system because I was very familiar with it. All right. What I'm not great at is a Windows 98 emulator. All right, let's open our save game. Here we are, Platinum. come up I promise yay all right let's see what we I don't even know what these are oh boy are we on still on porches in this thing okay yeah we're still on the, the the lovely thing of porches so let's take a look oh the creepy room here we go so this is what we have completed I mean, it's not bad. It's just not where I want to be at either, though. So we've got a uh, a porch floor hanging in space, <laughs> a picture, and uh, this mess, <laughs> and a porch in the ground, of course. We have the rest of this to do. So, <laughs> uh, all right. So let's see if we can get some of this stuff together. And this looks like it's gonna, like we've we've just have a bunch of like, random what have yous. I'd like to, yes! Okay, first piece off the bat, I feel better about life maybe, I don't know. No. Maybe? No, that's not gonna work. Okay, I don't know what this goes to, but it's not that. So how are you guys doing? How's your weekend going? I've had still not, not a bad weekend, but just like a lot of doing stuff. I've been avoiding doing kind of weekend. You know, one of those weekends where you're like, I guess I have to do this thing that I've been supposed to do for a while. So it's the weekend. I guess I have to. To, to take this time to do it. <laughs> I guess I have to be a responsible adult, woo booey. Which is fine. Now I get my reward of putting together a virtual puzzle. <laughs> I have to say though, the nice thing is I don't have to have this sitting out in my in my tiny house, taking up a huge amount of space and having the cat chew pieces and stuff like I would if it was a real puzzle. <laughs> Like a, an, a physical puzzle. 
I want this is gonna fit to something interesting I can tell I got this so sometimes the little holes where other things fit in and sometimes they're the bottom sometimes they're in the middle depending on what has to fit into them so it's not always helpful to kind of see that I've got a lot of see these look almost like hello we're friends but not quite you can figure out which come on oops nope I just want to grab you it's a lot of like the gold edging is helpful too sometimes at least gives you kind of an idea oh I'm at the end I'm at the edge or not okay it's not gonna fit I should have known that all right I need to get a strategy together since it's just a sea of pink to me I've sort of been like ah but that's not super helpful hey Sarah how you doing Sierra Yar I was gonna say that wrong sorry <laughs> how you doing sir <laughs> it's nobody's fault it's all my fault I'm doing well. I'm doing well. It's the weekend. Yay. Oh, so this is the part that's really gonna, I don't know. Maybe I should do some work on it since I'm almost afraid of doing the roofing. <laughs> oh, yes. Is your yes. I know where. Yes, of course. Space Quest Historian. You're in their chat all the time. I'm actually, I don't know them very well, um, but I follow them on Twitter and I've read their Space Quest stuff for a long time. So didn't they just get, they just did a Kickstarter to get SpaceQuest.net, which is really cool. I was at, to save it, like to archive it, which is really awesome. They usually, um, they usually stream in like the mornings or afternoons, my time. So how are you doing? This is not as a, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> the game I'm playing is not technically a point and click until I actually uh, finish the puzzle and then I get to solve a murder mystery, but this puzzle's taking me a while. <laughs> Oy. I heard a bunch of pop songs in the grocery store today so that's all my my head is playing is just Justin Timberlake I cannot get out ah yay hopefully <laughs> progress something clicked together something happened <laughs> Oh, that's the, I'm so glad he does. I'm so glad he hosts me. I'm glad you found my channel that way. That's why hosting is cool. Um, I like that feature a lot because you can kind of find people that are playing similar games or, um, and then add them to your host list. So that's cool. I'm so glad. Wait, oh, that's a, this is going to be, oops. This one has these big teeth on the side, so it's going to be a little bit of a skinnier piece, but I don't know. <laughs> hey, Pup Chase! <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I might... Hmm. I got a bunch of pink people. I don't know how, like confusing or not confusing this is for you guys because I kind of I'm like zipping around at my own whim from hither and yon on this board but um I hope you can follow yeah it's been a while just drinking enjoying your evening well it's a, it's a good the weekend's a good time to do that so that's good I've been sort of a sedate weekend where it's very like get stuff done oh yes all these things I've been putting off now is the time Especially since we had a ton of snow dumped on us midweek. First week of spring, spring, my butt. It did not happen. Hopefully, we'll get more spring weather soon. But I said a lot of stuff that I put off midweek, too, because I'm like, well, it's snow's here. K 
Can't leave during the snow. All right, let me let's see what we got going on here. Hmm. Just I, this is what I do every time, guys. I sort of bounce around until I start get a handle on something, and then I dig in. I guess so these look very similar. These are all going the correct way too. I must have actually figured that out. I think this looks okay. Let me zoom in a little closer. The zoom in is kind of impressive here. So these I think this is the correct way they should be going. Which means, hmm. Let's see. Let's see what we can fit together here. It's basically like dragon scales, but it's it's roofing, which actually this is a really cool looking roof. Um, now roofs are pretty much boring unless you have a lot of money. They're all just those, uh, what's it called? I know what it's called. I did, oh my gosh, guys. I have no brain. By the time 9 o'clock hits, I have no brain, and of course that's when I can stream. So I'm always like, uh, the words, the words for things. I did a temp job once where my whole job was, it was at a, uh, it was at a shingle manufacturing place that manufactured those tar shingles. And my whole job was to go to, go through Yahoo Yellow Pages and look up all of the roofers and enter their, their addresses and phone numbers into their database so they could send them advertising. I did that for like a month for eight hours a day. How I didn't go insane, I don't know. And it wasn't just that. I didn't have to, like, you go through Yahoo, Yellow Pages, but it's, like, all over the country. Like, it wasn't just for, like, our area. It was, like, the United States. So you'd start in, like, a state and then go through. And do you know how many roofers there are in North Carolina? There are a lot of roofers in North Carolina. That wasn't my state, but that's one of the ones I had to go through. They have puzzles in 3D. It's the future, Cheddar Man. How you doing? So I should know what roofing tiles are called but I just, my brain dumped it. That was, I did a lot of temp office jobs uh, when I got out of college. They liked me. I didn't complain about anything. I just did my job. I didn't expect any social interaction. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm hoping it warms up this week and we actually get spring. All right, so I've got a bunch See, these teeth kind of look like they might go together. Look, they're so... Not quite. Not quite. I'm going to start putting these up here together if they are all face the same way. So that's my hope is spring is coming. Basically, I had to catch up on work weekend, like work at home. Like stuff I've been putting off um, because of weather or just didn't feel like it. And I hope it does. I hope it warms up everywhere. <laughs> Unless you're like in Australia... In which case, well, maybe you still want warm weather, but everyone should have seasonally appropriate weather, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Well, geez, this piece is giving us the finger. Chill out, piece. Oh, gosh. Russ and I did go out tonight, just briefly. Went to Sonic and got, like, a milkshake. And uh, something was wrong. We couldn't tell what, like, the person in front of us was seemed like ups like we could hear them kind of yelling into the intercom a little bit but that happens at sonic because you know sometimes those intercoms are kind of crappy and uh let's see if we can there's got to be a way to get these um and then they ordered and then we ordered our milkshakes that's all we were getting and then uh we, we wait for a long like for like a really long time and then we just hear this guy like screaming in front of us he is just screaming screaming and we're like, ah, and I'm, and I was trapped because there's cars behind me and I'm like, ah. I'm like, how bad do we want these milkshakes? Like, can we, like, like, can we just leave? I'm like, I feel like this is going to turn into a situation that's going to end in like a police standoff. So I was like, why? And then this other waitress came out and she like took my card and like walked in. So we weren't at the window still and then brought us their shakes and said, ah, you should probably go. And we're like, Bye. Oh yeah, you have to rotate them too, Sarah. Yeah, Syria. 
Sir Yar. I'm saying it wrong. I'm so sorry. Yes. So you can rotate them and then they can go together. Anyway, that was my slightly nerve wracking situation. It's not even a bad situation. It's just like, I didn't even know what's going on. I'm like, there's no, there's no situation that warrants you screaming that much. Like I feel, you could see the teenager inside, like very nervously trying to interact with this person. I'm like, this poor, this poor 16 year old was like their first child. <laughs> this guy in this huge truck is just like laying in. And every time the kid was like trying to apologize, he was like, ah, like he took that, like, you know, sometimes when you apologize to people, they take it as like a threat and like, they don't, I don't know. They like react more strongly to the apology than if you just said, like they, I don't know. Like they want you to fight with them. And when you don't, they get madder. I don't know. We got our shakes and we got out of there. As far as I know, no, nothing bad happened. I was just like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> this is supposed to be a one. I'm, we're just going to go on to Sonic. We hardly ever go to Sonic. I just want to get a milkshake. Okay, that's not going to go. So who's excited for Ready Player One to come out? Did you guys read that book? I did, and I really liked it. I'm excited about the movie. I hope it's good. It looks like they get the rights to everything. I don't know if you read the book, but it's there's a lot of really cool um, references to different things and just like a lot of really fun stuff. And it looks like they got the rights to everything. So I hope they do a good job with it. I don't know. That's the next movie I'm going to see. Hope, well, I might wait for it to come into the $2 theater. That happens sometimes too. I don't know if you guys still have, I don't know. We're lucky enough to have a $2 theater in our area, which is a thing that doesn't happen. I think actually technically it's $3, but that's still a steal. It's like, even though I have to wait until it's almost on DVD, sometimes it's worth it. Oh, you played, I played and finished many interesting games. Yes. Thank you. I love um, all of those types of games. <laughs> so all of those types of games I enjoy. They're really fun. I have a special, I have a soft spot for um, full motion video games, FMV games. Those are some of my, my favorites. Okay, one of my... I'm just moving pieces around. I'm trying to see. There's like, I wonder if there's sort of a pattern to the tiles. I mean, obviously there's a pattern to the pieces, but if there's different type of roofing used in different parts of the roof. I wonder how they did this. I don't think they just, I mean, um, I don't think they just scanned the pictures because I feel like this is more detail than you would get be able to see okay so these are a shorter one these can go someplace else then that you would be able to see on a um well, these are down on a typical puzzle piece like the amount of detail when you zoom in is crazy what are you doing Okay, so we've got this over here. Maybe we can focus on getting like this. If we can go across here and fill this out, that would be nice. Can you? Nope, that's not gonna fit. It's gotta be. It's gotta be almost like a lean in. Maybe like something like this. Yes. Okay. Good. Now we found we found some way to to get this through. So now this isn't the right color. Okay, come over here, pieces. Get in line. I don't think it's this one, we'll see. Oh no. Ah, I hate when it does that. It's like a, it's like a magnet effect. It makes a little bonking noise and it moves all your stuff out of the way. So these are not it. That's not it because that's not right. Nope. Okay, let's move this way. These facing, ah, uh, nope. All right, what else is here? Let's see. Hey, Dark World Rabbit. 
Back to Victorian mansion that haunts your nightmares. Yes. <laughs> so much pink and gray. No. No, it's fine. Wait, am I working on a... I've been getting some pieces together, so I'm proud of myself for that. This almost looks like... Ah, look at that. Look at that. It looks like it should fit, and it doesn't. Jerk. Sir, I missed many playthroughs. Do you record them and show them on YouTube Daily Motion? I have a YouTube channel. It's pretty neglected, although I upload my videos there. But actually, if you click on any of those highlights, um, I have all of my highlights are not so much highlights as they are complete streams. So if you scroll down through my former videos, they'll have like little thumbnails. Um, and you can see, I really should put them on lists where they're all together. I've been meaning to do that. And I have not yet. So, but if you click on any of my highlights, it's my whole, it's gonna be a single whole stream and they should be in order of what they are. So if you want to, to watch some, they're all there. And mostly my YouTube videos kind of are done. I, I dump it there because um, there's a couple people I think that watch them there that don't like or care for Twitch. Um, or just don't use Twitch, so I put them there. Uh, but mostly, YouTube's so crowded, there's just no way. Um, I used to throw a little more effort up that way, and it just, it just, there's, there, you, you, I don't know how you would get any attention. <laughs> like, I don't mean by attention, but like, get anyone to watch your video, because there's so many, there's so many people, like, there's so many Let's Play people. Oh! Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Thank, Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend, Forgotten Footsteps. Her channel's awesome. She streams on Saturdays. She's a lot of, uh, not the same games as me, but similar games that are similar vein. DS6 says, I wonder how many good sites help content creators share searchable lists of video series. I don't know. I have not even thought to look for that, but that sounds like something that would be good to do. <laughs> um, it's tough because, well, not tough, but, so it is helpful like to be on something like Twitch, but the more crowded something gets, it's hard to tell. And even like, you know, when you're playing older games, I don't know if Twitch even knows how to suggest them other than, uh, you watch the same game. No, nope, that's not gonna work. I don't know why I even thought that would. All right, let's see if we can find, it might even be in here, guys. I don't even know what's in these two things. Yeah, that would, that would actually be super helpful. I have to, I wonder what it would, because a lot of times Twitch adds functionality, but doesn't really explain like how it helps you or works. And sometimes they're good things and sometimes not, but I definitely need to put my stuff together in lists. DS6 healthy channels on YouTube might have playlists, but it can be hard to find the playlist you want if they have over 50 playlists. I do have some of my stuff on YouTube playlisted, and I used to do that a lot, but YouTube changed the functionality. Um, they, they made it a lot more difficult in some ways. Actually, in some ways it's easier to. I just haven't, if you create it like a keyword, they put them all on the same playlist, but then I just sort of, I don't know, like I got, I felt like I was throwing, <laughs> not throwing away, but I have such, I have limited time. And so I have to figure out like, if I, if I want to have fun with this, like what makes this fun? What doesn't make it fun? You know, what, what is me spending a lot of effort on something, but not, 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 I don't say not getting a return, but it not making really any difference one way or the other. I don't know. But yeah. It's true, like, I feel like they're connected by date, but sometimes they're not. I hate how um, Twitch used to separate highlights from uh, videos that were just recent broadcasts, and I don't think they do that anymore, and it can get confusing if I'm playing the same game. And when I highlight, it always puts the date of the highlight as the date of the, the like, the broadcast date on it, and it shouldn't. I wish it would let you, when you highlight, it would just put it as... The, from the give you the option of putting it as the date from the broadcast. It's a little weird. So that's another reason I should be putting them together on some sort of list. 
Too many puzzle pieces on this table are just a pile of charred pepperoni. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I found this. No, they don't work. Um, I have, I have this at max magnification because that helps me, I think. Ooh. Hey, look, this, my, oh, nope. The thing is pieces can cover up other pieces, which I feel is aggravating and not fair. All right, I don't know what this goes to, but it goes to something on here. Hmm. Nope, that's bad. That bumping noises. I'm just basically trying to find, all right, let me go, if I go smaller, maybe it'll be more helpful. I'm trying to find all the pieces that have these large teeth on top because I think that would be really helpful. Is there more on this side? There probably is. Oh no. So actually all of the gray ones are on this side, except for the ones. Ooh, why are they in here? Oh boy. So the next one either needs to, ha has to have teeth or maybe has a blank spot there. Great. So teeth or a flat spot. Oh, here's another one that has teeth. But this one looks like it might fit more like this. Where's the other one that has teeth? This one has teeth, but it's the wrong side. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. Okay, I don't know. I'm just gonna move these. I'm gonna dump this one. I don't remember what I what this is. What did I just do? Okay, I didn't even know I could do that. I combined both of them. That's a terrible thing, game. Oh, no. Well, on the upside, there's this. Oh, there's a fit back in. Thank you for the follow. Glad you're having a good time. Yay! Thank you. See, I got my follower alert up again. <laughs> if anyone's sleeping, they're awake now. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I'm glad you're having a good time. All right. These are all, I don't think it mushes these all together either. So that might be right there. <gasps> yes. Okay, good. All right. I'm getting somewhat of a strategy that works here. At least a working something. It's something that works sometimes, guys. <laughs> I made a good impression. Why, oh, thank you. Glad to hear it. All right, so I got that piece. It's not quite, oh boy, these are all just squished together. I don't like how it, that's how, not how I would dump them out of a box even. Okay, so we've got another piece in there, which is good. We just have to, I just want to sort through these real quick. Oh, look, see, there's another one. Ooh, I think that might, we'll have to check that out a little closer. Oh, well, there we go. That's not what I wanted to do, but okay. So we've got this one. How do I almost go there? Come on. Ah, oh, not quite. Almost though. Don't, 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 don't stop moving pieces on top of other pieces. I don't like that either. All right, let's see if we can sort these out now. Is there any more that might be? Okay, let's zoom on in. Oh, good night, good night. Have a good evening. All right, so now we've got a whole other, nope, not that one. That's not right either, oh boy. No. Okay, stop. Game, stop. Nope. Nope. Stop, stop, stop. No. Oh, it's like the exact opposite. Look at that. It's not the right way. This, no. I mean, that looks like it would fit there. Look at that. What about you? Yeah! Okay, cool. So those go together. 
No. What about you? Yes! Okay. See? Getting there, getting there. What are you? Ah, it was hiding. It was hiding underneath there, guys. They're hiding these pieces from me. On purpose. Alright. Okay, stop moving stuff around. Stop moving them around. Nope, not quite. Nope. Okay, stop. Stop putting pieces on top of other pieces. It's not a helpful game. Nope, that's not going to fit right. Well, I might as well try it, but it's not. See, it's not. It's not going to fit right. It's not going to do that. Nope. All right, and this... No, that's the right way. Okay, so it's a little bit... So that looks... Look, that looks like almost, but not... It's, it's not quite right. Hey! Oh, let's not... Stop running away! I don't want you... I want you to be right here. Thank you. Oh, that looks good. Ah, no! Really? Boo! Boo! Hiss! Boo! Nope, that's not gonna work. Hey, yo, 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 yo. That looks cool. Well, that's not the wrong. That's not the right piece, but that looks cool for later. All right. So, see, this one almost could work right here, but not quite. All right. Nope. Nope, it's not. I know it's not, but it's so tempting. Because you kind of feel like, all right, let me, let me zoom out a little bit. All right, because you feel like... Wait, is that... I don't know if that's upside down or what that is, if that's right. We'll come back to that later. We'll remember it's there. Well, I'll try. I'll try to remember it's there. I'll really try my best. So look, this looks almost like it's going to fit right there, but not quite, huh? It's not quite right there. So where would that be? These pieces look like they're going to eventually hook up here somehow. This is the wrong side. I mean, this is going together well. But it's weird, like, where are those pieces then? I'll give myself a little more room for this project right here. So, if those pieces are these really dark ones, like dark gray, see that looks like it should fit, but it's not going to. I don't know why. Then where are those pieces? Like, where are the pieces that go here? Hmm. I mean, oh, those are close to matching. They're not quite right though. But this is, oh, this matches color wise, but it's not the right. See, like that looks like close, but that's because it's so far away. All right, let's pull this down. I don't like when they, st I want them to be where I, ooh, what's that? I want them to be where I can see them and not overlapping, but this game likes to overlap them at this level. I'm like, I would never do that. If I'm laying them out, like, what's this? Nope, that's not the right height. I need to put that with a different height. Hmm. Hmm. That might fit right there. It looks like it would. Come on, you're so close. Dang it. Hello. Okay, this might be something. No, that's not going to fit. I can tell by just looking at it. All right. Okay, stop overlapping on each other. Stop freaking out. Stop freaking out. 
You are all facing the same way. We need to find your opposites. Oh, here we go. Not even remotely. We need like another piece in there to make those fit together. I'm like, yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Nope, this is the right way for that one. Okay, so, hmm. What are you doing? You're just hanging out over there. That is not a good deal. It's not a good deal. Hey! Hey, Delta, how you doing? How's it going? How's your weekend? What's happening? Ah, these fit together. Nice. Okay. That's good. See, you're good luck. You came in and I got a piece together. All right. Yes! Okay, look at this. Not quite. That. Well, I tried that one, but. Oh. I'm good. I'm good. I'm doing good. It's the weekend. I mean, I had a little bit of a get stuff done weekend, but that's fine. Oh, it doesn't fit. King's Quest is going really well. I really love, um, I really love it. I really love King's Quest 6. I've never played it before. It's really fun. I mean, it's tough on me and I get frustrated, but it, there's so much, so much just really fun stuff in there, um, that I love. Like I really wanted in, um, when I was playing Rosella, I was playing King's Quest IV, I really wanted there to be like a Minotaur because it looked like there was a, um, a labyrinth set up in that game and it turned out, the inside it turned out to be weirdly Egyptian, which didn't make sense to me. But I got that Minotaur in the new in the King's Quest, so I was so happy. I was like, "Yay! I get to like fight the Minotaur. This is so cool!" I was like really excited about it. It's just fun. You can tell they're having a lot of fun in that, with that game, and it shows. Ah, look, we got this to fit. That's good. I can't tell if these are no. These are the other way. Um, I don't know. I keep thinking, I'm like, I'm almost there and like halfway through. And then I'm like, oh no, now I have all this other stuff. Like the game keeps letting you think you're getting close and then you're not, you know, you're like, oh, I have the servant's outfit. I can just go in. And then it takes that away from you relatively quickly. It's like, no, uh, no, that's not what you're doing. I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm probably over halfway but I'm not confident in that answer <laughs> because too many times I've been like, oh yeah, I got this. And it's like, oh no, I finished that and it did not lead where I thought, which I kind of like. They, they're doing a lot of this kind of where it's, oh boy, things aren't leading you where you think they should be leading you, which I like actually. All right. So we've got a there's got to be a piece that fits here. It's not this one. It's not this one. Hmm. Anyway, it's turning into one of my favorites. So that's good. goes over with these guys. There's a bunch of these guys over here. There's some, I need to put little pieces on the top to put them together. No, that's not right. This might fit somewhere over here. Oh, that's not going to fit there. Maybe there? Nope. Should have known. <laughs> you're trying to draw and you're trying to draw cloth folds. Oh my gosh. See, I'm, that's a nice thing about, about, there's a certain level for me where I'm not good at that at all. I enjoy like, I'll play around with stuff like that, but I'm not good at it. And I'm not saying that to be humble. Like I'm just not. And so like for me, like my level of making something that look good is so low, probably compared to you who's good where you're like, ah, I just need this to look the way I need it to look. <laughs> Dark World Rabbit says, the character I'm working on is rapidly approaching the point of being drawn entirely in skin tight spandex. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna... <laughs> and 
And then, hence why all true early 2000s games, they're all in, like, really tight clothes. That's so funny. You're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slice this Gordian knot. Who says they have to be wearing cloth that folds? There'll be no folds anywhere. Spandex all around. Yes. Okay, that fit. Nice. Hmm. <gasps> yes! I just made a guess on that one and it fit. Oh, what about this? No! Okay, fine. That's so cool! I'm so excited! Look at I got this! Um, okay. Here we go. I, was, I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say something and then I forgot. Oh, I think it was going to tell a story about um, dyslexia, actually, because it relates to drawing. But um, they think they found another reason why dyslexics have such a difficult... I'm dyslexic. Between, like, uh, flipping images and not being able to see the difference between certain images um, is because, supposedly, the dyslexic they tested... There's, like... We all have, like, cones and rods and whatever in your eyes that some of them do color, some of them do other stuff. And um, you have the same amount in each eye, but apparently they're distributed differently, um, supposed to be, but in dyslexics, they're exactly the same. So it's difficult for dyslexics to uh, have the distinguishing feature to like tell that way or the way. But I think something like that also affects like being able to tell if certain things are like crappy or not. Like I remember just recently um, somebody, at, at work was selling these things that are like, they're like these wooden plaques and they have like a poem or a phrase or even maybe like a scripture on them. And they have like pictures, like painting, like little flowers, not pictures, but little flowers. And they're like hand done. And she was selling them for like a fundraiser for something. And um, one of my other person that I, I volunteer with and work with, uh, she bought one and she was like super upset after she bought it because she's like and it looked really good to me because I was like I can never do anything like that like it's hand lettered it looked really cute and she was like she was kind of ticked and she's like well, how much do you think I spent for that and I'm like oh I don't know 40 bucks she's like well it was 30 and I'm like okay she's like but they didn't there's still the pencil marks on and it's not finished right like she had all she could like see all this stuff and I was just like oh well, looks great to me like I was like I'm <laughs> like, allow me never to make anything for you. But I think it was just because I just didn't like, I don't know if I just couldn't see it or if I just have like a t high tolerance for that. And I'd just be like, oh, okay. It looks really close to what it's supposed to look like. Like that's beyond what I can accomplish. But she's like, I'm gonna have to refinish it and do it right. And I just looked at her, I'm like, oh, okay. And I was just like, ah. I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if I'm, I'm probably better off from not being able to see it. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, it looks good. <laughs> I can't see the flaws. Everything is fine. No, look, that would be funny. That's not a roof, though. So which one? Let me look at this real quick. So which roof? Let's see if I can figure out which roof we're working on. Ah, uh, I think it might be this one because it has this right in the middle. Oh, all right. This might be helpful because you can see all the white pieces. So no, it can't be. So it would be like piece, 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 straight, piece, 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 piece straight. That's not the same one as this. I mean, if this is accurate, look, it can't be that one. So which one, which roof line can it be? It might be this one, but then it should already. Okay, no, because it's not close enough to that, so it's not that one. Might be this one, okay. At least this part. Oh, wait, these are two different pieces. I had these together in my head for some reason. So 
So there's this one where there's teeth and there's an edge. Dark World says, I have to fight real hard against those perfectionistic tendencies, especially in regards to my own efforts. Yeah, you can edit yourself right out of a picture, I'm sure. Like, just be like, <laughs> just end up with a giant erase hole in a piece of paper. Not That's not how it works on a computer, but you know what I mean. A blank file. You just have to kind of, I don't know. I don't have good advice for that, but disassociate yourself as much as you can, I guess. I know, I don't know. I hesitate to bring up anything I do, because anything I do is hobby-related as far as the arts go. Oh, hey, Morwin! How you doing? And I know, like, I've written stuff that I thought was totally crappy, and then I hated, and then I put it away, and I got it out, like, much later. I'm like, oh, some parts of this aren't bad, and I liked it. Um, and there's stuff I've, like, really, really liked. And then I've set it aside, and I've come back to it later, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so bad. <laughs> so you've been working on it for the past three days? Yeah, that's, there you go. Well, you know, sometimes it takes long. Sometimes you take a break from walk away. But sometimes you can't. Like, that's the good thing about deadlines with stuff. Like, if you said you're going to do something for somebody or, like, it's work-related, eventually you just have to release it. And be like, bye. Don't embarrass me too much. See you later. And then everyone, you know, you can kind of appreciate it for what it is. Oh, you just babysat with Dave for your Trek Night friends. When they came home, we watched Pacific Rim. Nice. Sounds like a fun time. I have not seen Pacific Rim. I know that the sequel's coming out soon. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't, yeah, that's hand cramps. That sounds, I hate when I have to write something out longhand for a really long time. Like if it's some sort of government form or something where you're like writing and writing and writing and then you're just like, ah, I don't do this enough, but you probably use it a lot. It just gets to you after a while. It's weird when physically you're like, I can't do this anymore, even though I feel like I should be able to. Oh, I bet it was nice, Morwen. Better watch it, though. I think Skadavy's going to catch baby fever. <laughs> I'm just teasing him. Yeah, it may be fun to see the drive one. I forget who said... Some critics are saying the sequel to Pacific Rim is pretty good. It has, um... has Finn in it. The guy who plays Finn, which I can't think of his name. I know he has a name, but, you know, it's like how Harrison Ford is Han Solo most of the time, when you think of him. But I don't know. I think the ads for it look bad. So, I don't know. I'm more excited to see Ready Player One when it comes out. Did you guys read that book, Morwen? You should see the pics. The girls only wanted to snuggle with him. <laughs> cute. <laughs> Dark World says, anytime my brain gets anywhere near close to baby fever, I promptly remind myself of my inability to keep houseplants alive. I actually think houseplants are a little more complicated than babies sometimes. You're like, I thought all I was supposed to do was give you sudden water, you, but why are you dying? I don't understand. What happened? <laughs> John Boyega, yes, his name's John Boyega. Yeah, the book was really good. I liked it a lot. Um, it was really fun. And I, I thought it was cool. Plus, I liked that the author did his book tour in a, um, in a, uh, DeLorean made up like the, um, Back to the Future DeLorean. Baby Singh is excellent birth control. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Might be. Depends on the person. <laughs> All right. What 
see what are we gonna do here. So we've got, the, I don't know which roof this is. They're actually very well behaved. <laughs> Good, there you go, see? There you go. We do, you have to bribe them with chips. You have to bribe them with chips and food. That's what you do. When I used to babysat as a babysat, when I used to babysit as a teen, back when they used to let teens babysit, I um always bribed them with treats. I was like, ah, I'll make popcorn. <laughs> nope, she just brought her husband, Bim Clunk. Grandma gave us the idea and we bought us the knobs. <laughs> Oops, nope, nope, not what I wanted to do. There we go. All right. Hey, that worked. Ah. No, really? All right, set you to the side. Set you to the side. Dang it. Mm. Okay. Oh, Grandma's not able to lift the baby. Oh, that's so sad. Oh. Grandma wants to babysit, but Grandma can't babysit. Dark says, that and babies are just so expensive. Like, this female couple want me to be a sperm donor. Like, Godfather's like, I can't afford to even be a proper Godfather's lady. <laughs> Plus, you have to be careful with that situation. I actually, my cousin... Um, he was in the Navy and he worked with a uh, uh, married lady couple that wanted him to do that and then he checked into it just to see and it's like because it's not a, a sperm bank um, like if something ever happened and they had to be on like public assistance the public the public welfare office could come after him for child support because um, even though he was just going to be like a sperm donor, they would consider him the biological father. <laughs> I, like for me, like Warren's bringing up, you know you can make money off the of sperm donor, egg donor. Yeah, but then, I don't know. Not me, but like thinking about that theoretically, I would always be like slightly worried like, oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, if you baby daddy, you baby daddy, period. Exactly. That's how they look at it, and so he's politely declined. He's like, ah, I mean, nothing might happen, but like if in 12 years something happened. <laughs> he's like, he's like, ah. I've heard of the movie Delivery Man, is that word? I actually read a book, um, it's a really in interesting book. It's about, uh, the, there's this, there was this sperm bank that was supposed to be only Nobel Prize winners. And it was sort of this idea that um, you could save humanity like through the sperm do donations and like all these geniuses. It was kind of about their rise and fall and stuff. And um, they found like, it was really interesting, they interviewed the donors, because it went all the way from like this, it was like from the 70s all the way up until like the mid 90s. And, and there's a lot of really interesting stuff like following the kids and following some of the families and like some of these, some of these supposed Nobel Prize winners, it wasn't, they weren't, they were like, not, some of them were like, one of the guy was like a doctor, which is fine, but then his kid wanted to find him and they did. And then it was like he was a really creepy doctor, like he had been disbarred several times, like there's all kinds of, um, yeah, it was almost like a 70s, 
yeah, it was this kooky 70s idea. It almost sounds like 70s science fiction, except it was reality. It was really, it was a really interesting book and just talking about, like, why did not, like, what happened? Just, like, what, not so much judgment on it, but, like, what happened? Like, <laughs> why did they decide to do this? How did they convince these people to donate? What happened? Did it actually make super smart kids? Which, for the most part, it just d did not work out that way. Um, and then sort of how they couldn't get all of these Nobel Prize winners to donate because, like, they were kind of a little bit... A lot of them were like, I already I have kids. Like, I don't know who these people are. I'm not comfortable with this. And uh, so they just started lowering their standards until it was just kind of crazy. This one case, it was like this guy who was... That's what made me think of a delivery man, is this one guy was like a son of a Nobel Prize winner. And he like donated to that sperm bank and a bunch of sperm banks like all the time. And he was like a little bit mentally unbalanced. It was like, oh, I probably have... Like a million children, like all, it was just really weird. <laughs> it was just, you just felt like you're like, oh no, don't, ah, you know. <laughs> but because he could put on like that his dad had won a Nobel Prize, like all these places were very excited about that. But then it's sort of like, eh, this guy doesn't sound, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> There's all kinds of implications with that, but it was a really interesting book. And there was, um, there's that song getting on like Genghis Khan. I saw, I don't know if I saw Patton Oswalt has a new special out on Netflix. And it was really funny because he talked about his DNA came back and it was all boring white people from like boring white people countries. And then there was one hit in like Mongolia and he called because he thought he's like, okay, what's this Mongolia hit? Like, have you made a mistake? Because... And they're like, oh, that's Genghis Khan. <laughs> He's like, what? He's like, yeah, Genghis Khan slept his way through Europe. <laughs> and so lots of people from, from Europe <laughs> will get a hit from Mongolia. And it's literally Genghis Khan. <laughs> like, so that's why. He's like, oh, because he's like, what family connection did I miss? Like, where, where in our genealogy did we miss Mongolia? Nope. <laughs> Just Genghis Khan somewhere. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's definitely a, a genetic le legacy. Good old Genghis. <laughs> he was a lover and a fighter, I guess. <laughs> uh, that's not gonna fit there. Okay, now I'm all distracted because I was just thinking how funny that was. All right. <laughs> That's why um, all those people want to do 23andMe and stuff or whatever those genetic tests are. They just want to see, which is kind of cool to figure out what's going on. Although sometimes you get some, not interesting, but sad because it's like stuff that you thought was true about you isn't true. Like um, what your heritage is or like what you think your heritage is. And sometimes I think they can be a little sad. All right. Okay, this looks like a half. All right, I don't know. Hmm. All right, let's see. This is like facing the, this is totally facing the wrong way. I don't know. Where would you fit weird piece? We'll see about that later. Come on. No, I know you're not going to match up, but you might match up. Nope. Color-wise, they're not right. And I know it, but I tried them anyway just in case. I was just like, maybe. Hmm. Let's not hang on. Save game control S. Okay. I just make sure to save it. My dad actually thought he was super Irish for a long time because of his last name. And then it uh, turns out he's all English. My mom's more Irish than he is, which is so funny. It's a weird thing with genes you don't know. All right. 
right. Hmm. Okay, whoops, let me get out of here. I went too far into the pink. Okay, so we've got quite a few. Hmm. Oh, yes! That was nice. I don't like how, can I move this? I cannot move this. See, things get stuck underneath here. I don't like that. It makes me a little bit worried that things can get kind of bumped underneath here and get stuck. See, how do you get, I don't want, Yeah, see, I get worried about this kind of stuff getting stuck back there, and then you can't see it because it's behind the portrait of the other thing you're supposed to be looking at. Hmm. No, that's not going to fit it, but it looks like it should. cloth folds for is like a long dress or a tunic dark world rat <laughs> like what what kind of clothing are they wearing that has so many folds in it is it for ben folds why is there so many folds oh, so close that's not the right way though okay calm down calm down i'm talking to the to the game not you you can be you can pull your hair out though it's probably not a good idea uh, and I have no good art advice. I can be like, oh, just do this. No, I have nothing to say. Nothing that I can say other than being slightly encouraging. Like, um, do your best. <laughs> oh, are you, are, you, are you doing a picture of MC Hammer? Harem pants? Even with, it's the way they catch and bunch, even with references, it's so tedious. I would, yes, I would imagine so. It's got to be difficult to capture that. Okay, kind of, nope, that doesn't go there either. Oh, stop hammer time. Yeah, that's tough. I don't know. That is a weird looking piece there. It's just a very distinctive, which is good. I'm gonna put that there. Ah, stop flying away. Stop flying away. No, oh hey, Buzz Thunder. Nope, I'm still playing King's Quest VI, but I won't play that again until Monday. This is my mental break um, from whatever game I'm playing, games I'm playing during the week. It just gives me something that's just a little bit. Oh, look at this. What are you doing over here? That's just a little bit. Ah, yes. Okay, that's just different. Um, so I don't fry my brain. It keeps me, especially when I have a, a longer game like when I was playing. It's the old Republic and you can kind of get a little burnout. I'm like, oh, I have something new to jump to. All right, I feel better about this. I can do on and off with the frame icon. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait, I can look at all, oh, I can look in the room. I don't want to look in the room. Bottom bar. Frame icon. <laughs> the druids certainly have you burned out. Yes, <laughs> I did eventually figure it out, but it drove me crazy. This one right here, new tray. 
Okay. Reference images. There we go. Oh, nope. That's not what I wanted. Okay. So this gold tray book. There it is. Frame. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Ashen. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Fourth movement. Right. I found it awkward. Thank you. I appreciate that because I don't like it when stuff's hiding behind there. It makes me nervous that I'm missing something. How you doing, Ashen? Look at, I'm getting this done, man. Yeah, the druids, I almost murdered the druids if they hadn't murdered me in King's Quest Six, but we got through it. I think they're, it's, it's, now we're on to like magic spells and I'm excited about that because I remember that from King's Quest Three. Thank you, Awkward. <laughs> I don't know if you're, you're like, you lurk or if you just happen to be passing through and you're like, you feel it's like I put up the awkward signal, like instead of the bad signal, like, Jen can't figure out what's something to do in this old game. All right. Oh, nope, nope, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Thank you. What I'm, that's not what I'm even remotely trying to do. Yeah, the magic spell book, yeah, it opens up a lot of things. Yay! No, Ashen, did you move? Like, did I see that you moved recently? If you have, I, I hope you've gotten stuff unpacked, because that's like the worst part. Pack, packing isn't as bad, because you feel like you're, you can like, your progress is you're putting it in boxes. There's stuff, places to put everywhere, but for me, unpacking. The worst, because then it's like, oh, where does this go? Why did we pack this? What is even in this? Huh, these look familiar. Like, this looks like... It's not quite like that, but it sort of looks like that. All right, there. Uh... Bum 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 bum. All right. Why did I bring this up? That's not working. It's not a good spot for it. Oh no! Ashen says I did, and now I'm basically paying for an expensive storage shed because there's nothing but boxes towering around me in the apartment. Yes, Rocky been <laughs> Oh, that's the worst. That's the worst stage. When you're like, uh, I can why don't I just eat off paper plates the rest of my life? I don't want to go near this. You just get so tired of trying to figure out where to put stuff. Ah, I guess I got this. And when you're in the beginning, you're so optimistic. Cause when you pack your stuff up, you're like, you're packing all these things. And then later when you open those first boxes, you're like, why didn't I just throw this all out? Why did I even pack this? What do I need this for? Ah, and this looks like it goes together so well and does not. Boo. Nope, not one, not either. Oh boy. Maybe. No. Maybe. No. Ah, maybe you. Nope. Ah, come on. These look like these go together. I'm like, come on, game. You know they want to. Yeah, you're like, why do I have all this stuff? Who bought this? Why did I buy this? All this stuff. Yeah, I... The worst that ever happened to me is when I was moving and then I realized I had like a couple of boxes that had been packed since the last move. I had no idea what was in them and I never unpacked them. But then I got worried there was something important, so of course I packed them up anyway. I should have just pitched them. But I just felt like maybe, maybe there's something important in here somewhere. It's like there's not going to be, but maybe there would be. What if there is? You know, that kind of feeling.
Okay. Oh. I have those down there because they're a different color, but I feel like we might have gotten close to this being. This looks like a rabbit face right here. Hey! Okay, that's good. <laughs> Ashen says, yep, yep. I told my friends who helped me move that we should just lit a match in the U-Haul and close the door while we had the chance. And then before I looked at things, see if I needed them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dark you. I'm so sorry that the drawing is so painful. Think of it as a learning experience. It'll teach you all these shortcuts to draw harem pants that if you ever need to draw harem pants again, there you'll be set to go with all the skills needed, I guess. <laughs> I actually, oh gosh, I had a friend, um, who I helped her pack up her, actually her family was being evicted. It was sad. Um, although probably somewhat bad decisions were made. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I, she let me pack. She's like, well, throw out stuff. And they had so much stuff that they, they did not need. And so I just be like, eh, this is broken. You don't need this. We're throwing it out. I had, she, she was like, oh, I'm like, you're not going to need this. You're going to pay for this to be in storage. It needs to be pitched. And she's like, ah. And then we, like when I was there, she threw out a lot of stuff. Because I would just be like, it doesn't work. You don't need it. <laughs> Ashen says, I completed a small puzzle today and thought of this dream. I like them so much. <laughs> it's a stream of consciousness stream, I guess. Oh boy. I want to earn some more videos. So we can watch something. I mean, Porches was so riveting. Surely there's more to Porches than this. Well, they could talk about doorknobs maybe next. Okay, this is a weird... This is a weird piece. I feel like even though we don't have that much put together like on the house, I think we're getting closer and closer. It is though you're much better at them than I am. I have nothing to compare it to. I'm just whizzing around. I, again, I think it's just, these look like they fit together. Yes, they fit together, they do. Ooh, we have an end and an end. Um, I feel like it may just be pure stubbornness on my part. What I, what I lack in talent, I make up for by being really stubborn about this stuff. Sometimes pure stubbornness gets you through and nothing else will. I don't know. That's I guess that's my only claim to do this because I'm still, I'm still chugging along, chugging along, singing a song. The crazy thing is, you'd think after this, I'd be like, oh, I don't know if I want to play this for my Saturday stream, but I'm already like, maybe I could get, um, there's like the Orient Express one, that's like this, like maybe I could get this other one, and play them in order. Sorry, I'm yawn talking. That's annoying. I didn't mean to. I didn't know I was gonna yawn. Your heart is true, you're a pal and a confidant. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend, Skinavy. Yay! Hello. Hello, hello, hello. All right. Hmm. This is a weird angle. I can't tell. Oh, is it? Fit? That does not look good. You made it home. Yay. Good job. Welcome home indeed. That's the best part of going out is coming home. <laughs> you go out like it's like you go out places just to appreciate your house. You're like, oh, back. Oh, my stuff is here. The world makes sense again. I'm at home. The one place you can set things up the way you like them for the most part. You're like, here we go. My world is, is sensical. These look like they should fit together, man. 
The fact that they don't is aggravating beyond belief. Why don't they fit together? This goes somewhere, but then we have this thing here. Ah, you're turning into a homebody more and more. Makes sense. <laughs> You've been working a lot too, I think, Morwen. When you work a lot, it's always like, please come, I want to be home. I don't want to be at work anymore. Like, these look like, I don't even know how these attach to anything. <laughs> the kids were only snuggling because you had a bag of chips. <laughs> You're telling me Morwen also did not have a bag of chips because I feel like that would be something she would want to have. Because she, she wants, like, it's the same thing with Albie. She wants those snuggles from Albie, and he refuses to give them to her. <laughs> Instead, he only has eyes for Skadabi. <laughs> All right. Bribing them is all you can do when you're babysitting. <laughs> she threw the bag at you. It is true. Russ is always like, we should get a larger, because like at the movie theater, popcorn's always ridiculous. And he's like, we might as well get the larger one. It's like the same price. Like there was a deal, like we had a coupon for a deal one time for this huge popcorn and drinks. It was cheaper than a smaller popcorn. I was like, oh, I don't want to do that because I'm going to eat it if I have it. I just, if it's not, for, if it's not, if it's not right there, I won't eat it. But if it, you have like a huge thing of popcorn, in the movie theater, you're not going to pay attention to how much you're eating of it, and then it's just going to be like a massacre. <laughs> Blue's Clues, Clues. Blue's Clues. Oh, yes. I remember, well, I haven't babysat in a while, but when I babysat in high school, I had kids who wanted to watch Blue's Clues. One kid wanted, always wanted to watch MacGyver all the time. And I was like, really? And then I was like, oh, okay, I guess it's a pretty good show. MacGyver! Ah! There we go. Good, good, good. We did that. Okay. Nope. Not quite right. Weird kid from MacGyver? It was in reruns, too. And his dad was like, he's like, look, at 7 o'clock he's gonna watch, wanna watch MacGyver. I'm like, really? I'm like, okay. And sure enough, seven o'clock in the dot, that kid was like, where's MacGyver? I want to watch MacGyver. And I'm like, oh, okay. All right. Let's find it on the cable channel. It's MacGyver emergency. Okay. <laughs> I think now I've heard a lot of people complain about Paw Patrol. It's If you look at Target, any of the kids shirts, like that's what's in right now. <laughs> that's what parents are ready to murder over. Probably Paw Patrol. <laughs> uh, like the DVD itself had a built-in repeat. For Funny Nemo. Ah. So you used to need that line for line. Which I know, Funny Nemo is a good movie. It blindsides you with the sadness in the beginning because you're like, okay, and then you're like, ah! Don't kill off the mom! 
too late. They're, they're doing a new Incredibles, which I'm really excited about. That's a movie I really liked. We're finally getting an Incredibles 2, whether we want it or not. <laughs> Actually, I think it'll be good. I really want Holly Hunter back as the mom. She was such a good mom in that movie. Okay, I'm confused. Aquanauts? Octonauts. Yeah, Octonauts. I think it's Octonauts. It's funny because, like, when I was a kid, we didn't have that ability to, like, with, like, a Netflix, just play the same show over and over again. Maybe you had, like, a DVD, but it wasn't the same. It didn't have, it wasn't that same amount of repeat repeatability. My mom used to love to tell a story when I was little, like, they went to see uh, um, the Sesame Street movie in the theater, and my mom's like, they went up to go, and I refused to leave because I wanted to watch it again. Like, I was like, again, again! And, like, my mom thought, what a ridiculous... Like, everyone was laughing because, oh, of course you can't do that. And now, like, that's literally what you can do, other than being in the movie theater. But they're not allowed to watch it? Is it a evil show? Is Octonauts secretly evil? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, they limit, uh, they limit when they're allowed to, well, that makes sense. Like, I have friends who don't let their kids play on their phones. Like, they have kids' apps, but they don't let them play on them hardly at all. So, like, when they absolutely need them to sit still or whatever, then they can play on them. So they're not bored with it and used to it. Especially with with uh, toddlers, you have to. Whatever has influence over them. Oh, they don't want it all the time? Yeah. Parents have likes and dislikes too. We watched Big Hero 6 and then started Tinkerbell, but they returned, so Tinkerbell got turned off for bedtime. <laughs> I I was shocked, and I'm not, I wasn't keeping my finger on the pulse of this, but when Tinkerbell, they did all those Tinkerbell movies and she talks, I was like, what? The whole point of Tinkerbell is that she doesn't talk and that she's also a little bit of a jerk. She's insanely de jealous about stuff. All right, let me back out and see what this is. <laughs> Dark World Rabbit says I grew up with a steady diet of Star Trek. <laughs> My dad used to watch, we used to watch Star Trek a lot. Um, and we also, oh, I probably have the, look, these are probably what needs to go up here. It's not quite the right co color. It's a little bit too dark, but there's got to be something here. Um, and also Doctor Who, like the early, early, early Doctor Who. But I found that so confusing because like Star Trek would tell you everything you needed to know. But Doctor Who would kind of just drop you in, and I wasn't used to that as a kid. And I was like, what's happening? Who's this guy with the scarf? Why is there in a spider island? Because, like, I would watch the ones, I remember one specifically where it was like, these young people didn't want to go into the bunker. Like, it was like an alien planet, and they're all in some sort of alien, not, they were humans, but they were like in a different planet. And it turns out, because they wanted them in the bunker, because a certain time of year, these spiders came out of these melon things, and I was so confused. Some guy. <laughs> It's like some kind of brainwashing. Star Trek? Maybe. I don't know. It was just funny. I was always like, what's happening? Like, Star Trek's so clear. Like, Spock's a logical one. Captain Kirk's, like, emotionally unhinged. Bones, grumpy. Like, everything was, like, laid out for you. <laughs> when you watch Star Trek at their house, the kids hum along and then shout wormhole at the end of the opening credits. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, Deep Space Nine. Da -da. Yeah, that's so funny. Well, what are you going to do? <laughs> Didn't hurt me to watch Star Trek as a kid. <laughs> it's super cute. <laughs> you look like you should go there. Stop acting like you don't go there. I know you do. Come on. All right, I'm going to move. If I move all of these down here, I bet I'll get a little bit of a different perspective on it. Because there's... Move over. Yeah, like, look at you. Where'd you come from? Where have you been? Yes! See, there you go. As soon as you move stuff around, you find stuff. No, that's not going to fit there. All right. No, really? You're not? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I know you're not going to fit there, but I kind of want you to. You almost look like you'd fit there, but not quite. Ah, oh, I got so much of this roofing done. I'm really excited, but now I'm... Yeah, that looks like they would go there, and it's not going to. Boo! If we can get the roofing on there, it'd be amazing. If we can actually finish some roofing pieces, that would be so cool. Because this is the part that's kind of terrified me, because there's so many, there's so many pieces on it. Hmm. <laughs> so what are you guys going to watch when you're done with Deep Space Nine more? When are you going to go to Voyager? Okay. Ah, there we go. Good. All right, got that piece. So I got a new piece, but I don't have anywhere to put it yet. <gasps> yes! Okay, good. You don't belong there, you go over there. You're facing the wrong way. Yeah, okay, good. I'm excited. <laughs> you would sing a synopsis of the episode over the DS9 credits. <laughs> oh, so close. Yet so far. No, that's not gonna fit. I want it to though. Nope. It's coming along so well. Thank you for the encouragement, Ashen. <gasps> Yay! Okay, I don't know where this goes, but I'm really excited about it. Where is it gonna go? Where is it gonna go? Who knows? There's stuff down here though, maybe. No? Hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> For your own amusement, you watched it alone. No one watched Deep Space Nine with you. Aw, Cheddar Man. I used to watch it. I started watching it in rerun runs. Deep Space Nine is my favorite. The weirdest Star Trek next to the original series, but still your favorite. Yeah, it's definitely Kira though kicks butt in that that show. It's a lot of good. Um, I love the original series so much, but there's a lot of. The woman can be a little potted planty 
in some ways. Um, because Counselor Troy at her best was really fun, and at her worst was just really terrible. And same thing with Dr. Crusher. At her best, she was super fun and cool, and at her worst, she was really terrible. And, um, DS9 suffers from that a little bit, but, like, it just, Dax is so much fun. Kira is so much fun. Yeah, it has good character arcs. It's just, and when they want you to dislike the characters, I feel like, if, when I first, like, when you, I didn't watch it in the beginning, like, when I first watched it, I didn't watch it from season one, because I only caught it in reruns on our local, like, Fox station or whatever in the afternoons on the weekend. I, I don't think I saw it when it was actually running, and, um, I was like, oh, I really like this character, but then when I started watching it from beginning to end, like, in the correct order, I'm like, oh, gosh, I hate Dr. Bashir so much, like, in the beginning, and then you realize, like, oh, that's kind of intentional. Ah! Yeah, I kind of know that, but I haven't ever watched that because I'm so upset by the thought of it more. <laughs> like, I can't believe they did that. And I'm so upset. But maybe the actress just wanted to move on. I don't know. Yeah, it's just fun. Like, and Kira's characters, she's just really cool. Although, I, and I think it's hilarious. I never could understand why they made Miles... And Yoko, um, Yoko O'Brien's marriage so bad. Their marriage was terrible. They had, like, the worst space marriage. I was like, why are these guys even together? Like, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> the network moved her to Becker. I remember her being on Becker. Why did I say Yoko instead of Keiko? Because I was thinking of John and Yoko. I knew it was... I knew it wasn't Yoko. Sorry. <laughs> My brain pulled a word adjacent. A person in Keiko. Dark World Rabbit. Keiko is the most unlikable character on the show. I'd rather marry Quark, and that's the truth. But she didn't want to go, though it was lucrative for her. Yoko broke up Star Trek. I don't know why she went either, even though Becker probably was better, but then it didn't. I don't know where her career went after that, but I remember her being on Becker, which I watched briefly, and then she was gone. I'm like, oh, what happened to you? Yeah, Keiko and Miles O'Brien's marriage is terrible on that show. It's painful to watch sometimes. They fight about stuff that makes no sense. Like, it's supposed to be the future, and I'm just like, oh boy. I remember when they got together on um, TNG and like they almost didn't get married because because she told Data to say, uh, Yoko doesn't want to, not Yoko, Keiko doesn't want to marry you to O'Brien. He's like, what? <laughs> you ship O'Brien and Bashir. They have the best. <laughs> they have the best bromance. They have so much fun together. They really are cool. Oh, she's back to acting recently? Cool, cool. No, I didn't know she's in a PC game. Is was she in the, um, which PC game was she in? I know they have a DS9 PS PC game. Um, wait, to Leonard Nimoy? He's dead! <laughs> Wait, hang on. She's back. They got divorced and now she's engaged. Oh, Tom playing. Oh, oh it's not Star Trek related. Oh, yes. I like when she got to play other roles other than Bludgeon and Housewife. Except Adam Nimoy's. Oh, wait, she's engaged. To... Wait, well, he directed... Is this the same Adam Nimoy? He directed some episodes of TNG, right? Did he direct some episodes of DS9? That's so weird. Some weird contest game where if you could solve the puzzle, you could win a million dollars or something. Oh, really? Weird. I guess your career takes you where your career takes you. It'd be cool if she could get a job on, on Discovery. Not playing a character related to her character, obviously, but just playing somebody new.
Not sure, but it's all in the Star Trek family. Yeah, because I know that, like, um, Leonard Nimoy's son got to direct some episodes of TNG. Um, I forget which ones. One was the one where they all, like, the, um, it was Captain Picard as a child. They all became children in the episode for some reason. And then I forget what the second one was. But if they might have met on set if he worked, um, because they were right, the shows were really close together before TNG wrapped up. Okay, hang on, this looks like it doesn't fit there. Now, let me pull out a second, because I'm so close to this, I'm like, not seeing, oh, like this. Oh, so close. No? Come on. Yeah, Rascals, yes. So uh, Nimoy directed it. I don't know if it's Adam Nimoy, but one of the Nimoy sons directed it. So <laughs> that's all I know about that. I wonder if it's the same one, because that would be funny. You're fairly certain Skadavi can mention every episode. Or remember everyone. Ah, come on. These pieces have to fit together. Why are you not fitting together? I just thought it was funny. I heard an interview with LeVar Burton, because LeVar Burton directs still, like he directs uh, a lot of CBS shows and stuff, but um, not consistently the same ones, but he like he even directs for like, I think NCIS sometimes. But he talked about Rick Berman was really encouraging if you wanted to learn how to direct as like an actor, or he would give you a chance, like you'd have to do all this work and prove yourself and spend the hours and then that's why he got to direct on the um, show but these are the I think that's one of the reasons that he's like oh okay your son's a director you're Leonard Nimoy all right let's see what he can do Oh, Treasure Quest was the name of the game Dax was in. All right. Hmm. Count 96 DS9 was running at the time. That's interesting. It's weird that they had her leave DS9 for when it was, like, she was so integral to that, to that show. Okay. Come on, what are you missing there? What's missing? These look, no, that's not quite right. Where are the rest of the pieces, though? Dang it. Okay, so maybe some are, okay, I need, I just need to be able to, like, I need a bigger table. <laughs> I know it's a pretty big table, but I need a bigger one. You're surprised. I thought that, she, yeah, I didn't think it was a particularly good show, if I remember correctly. I remember Ted Danson being on it, and I, uh, as a kid, I watched Cheers, which, I, like, there's so many shows that I, like, you just come upon, and later you're like, wow, that was, oh, good, we got that. That was something a nine-year-old shouldn't have been watching, or whatever, whatever age I was. And, um, so that's why I wanted to watch. I'm like, oh, it's Sam. But then he's sort of like a grumpy, I never got what, like, his, his deal was. I didn't think it was as charming. I've heard The Good Place is good, but I have not watched it. Okay, so this probably goes. Oh, that, there you go. Sherman says, Ted Danson is awesome in The Good Place. It's a great show. I have just not, I don't know. I really liked, this, these shows are not related, but I think they're similar in that they have a quirky premise. Um, I really liked Pushing Up Daisies. 
And um, it's so good. You laugh constantly at The Good Place. Then I have to watch it then. Um, but I really liked that show. And also um, Dead Like Me. Like shows with like weird, not just death, but like weird premises. And then I always get really excited about them. And then they get canceled and I get very disappointed. <laughs> Pushing Daisies should have been around for a long time. That was a good show. Skadabi, you don't ever, like, you don't like second seasons, I can tell, because you didn't like uh, Jessica Jones, which I haven't watched the whole second season, so shush if there's spoilers. But, like, you don't like, you like the first one, but you don't like the second one. I feel like there's a couple different shows you've said that about. They're not successive, successfully roping you in for the second season of whatever. Hey, Trinus! How you doing? Hey! Oh, Firefly was so good. So, so good. And honestly, I'd much rather Joss Whedon be working on Firefly than some of the stuff. I mean, I, the Marvel stuff's good, but it's not as fun. I mean, it can be, you know what I mean? Like, it's just not as. That was such a good show. I tried to get into Constantine Dark World Rabbit. I just, I, I don't know. It lost me a couple different places. I, weirdly enough, I liked the Keanu Reeves Constantine with um, Tilda Swindon as, um, well, as a character in there that if you haven't seen the movie, it would be spoiler to say who she's playing. But um, I just, I don't know. I don't know. It didn't grab me like it should have, and then it was gone. Although I heard the CW is going to add... The guy who played Constantine as Constantine in one of their um, DC sh or not one well, yeah DC shows, but it's not it's God. anyway they're gonna add not DC I meant one of their shows. Look it up. It just it just was announced. Russ was telling me about it, but I was only half paying attention at the time, not because I wasn't interested because there's was a lot of stuff going on. Legends of Tomorrow. Dark World Rabbit. I did too. The show did stall, stall too much, but I love the character. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I like Constantine. No, 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 not the, the guy. Okay, no, no, no. Ke not Ke Keanu Reeves. Oh, I just said Keanu Reeves. There was a, a Fox show, Constantine, with um. I don't know who the main actor was, but he did a pretty good job. I just the show stalled out too much, um, and the show was canceled, but it had a huge fan following. So now CW is picking up the character and um, putting them in one of their shows, Legends of Tomorrow, right? And then uh, picking the actor to play Constantine again, which is pretty cool for the actor, but not Keanu Reeves. I don't think he would. He's too busy playing John Wick. One of my friends a long time ago got so upset with me because I was like, I just enjoyed Keanu Reeves as an actor most of the time. Like, he's a terrible actor. They like, yelled at me about speed and all this stuff. And I'm like, I don't know. Somehow I just get past it. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> Normally I'm like, I'm like, ah, it's Keanu, this is Keanu playing Keanu. He's just having a fun time. Spill and Ted's. It's great. It's fine. <laughs> they were so like upset about it in a way that just made me laugh. I'm like, it's not really that big a deal. It's okay. <laughs> Can we not be friends? <laughs> if I <laughs> if I enjoy Keanu movies. <laughs> okay, what's Scrooby says my dislike of Jessica Jones was entirely valid as I will explain to you in detail once you've watched it. <laughs> Keanu Reeves is a terrible. He's I don't know, he's an interesting actor. I heard someone say um that he's still on screen a lot, which, uh, I don't know. As American audiences, we don't like as much, but it's actually difficult to do. I don't know. Ken Reeves and Kristen Stewart went to the same school of stone-facedness. You know, I did not, um, I, I, what was that? It's not, Jum it's not, oh, it starts with a Z. It's not Jumanji. It's by, actually, it's based on one of the other author's books. It's called, like, not Zoltar, Zinidu. It has, um, uh, 
Watts is named Dax Shepard in it and has Kristen Stewart. She plays the older sister. And she, it's like, I'm like, this is when she was having fun with acting. She was had so much fun in that role. You could just tell. Before she became Twilighted. <laughs> and I enjoyed her in, um, I think it's called America on Ultra. I enjoyed her in that too. Like maybe she just doesn't like, maybe Twilight was just too much for her. Yeah, the movie's like Space Jumanji. Yeah, because it's, um... So Jumanji's based on a book, and the same author had other books about other stuff, not just games, but other books like that. And that was based on one of his other books, which is why you feel like, oh, it's space Jumanji. But I really liked it. It was really fun. Yeah, that was a pretty, I think it was an underappreciated movie, in my opinion. It was just fun. And I also had the guy from The Hunger Games. Yeah, she's much better American Ultra. I actually, um, I like that movie. She's no Meryl Streep in terms of range, but at least she was post-coma. Yeah. She just, are you saying that because she, I want to make sure she wasn't actually in a coma, in which case I'd feel terrible if I'm like, yeah, she's totally in a coma, like she's totally like a comatose. And then it's like, no, I meant her actual com coma. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to make fun of somebody who's in an actual coma. Zathura, yes, that's a good movie. It's a fun movie. I don't, it's not, it's not Oscar worthy, but it's a fun movie. It's a very forgettable title. No, like metaphorically coma, she's safe. <laughs> I, I don't, I forget who, and like, it shouldn't, I mean, I don't know, celebrities are people too, but um, somebody, I forget, this is a while ago, and I do not know the exact details, but they made a joke about something, and... Or I thought it was a joke, and, and the celebrity was actually like, like, geez, harsh, Jen. They have throat cancer, and I'm like, oh, no! Like, ah! Like, I'm, like, not that they would care or hear, but I felt like, I would not make fun of somebody with throat cancer! Like, that, that's not something I would do! Like, that panic. John Favreau is a fun director. All I can think of is him when he was on Friends, though. That's... That was the thing that cracked me up about that. And he was, um, I didn't call him. He was in a Daredevil. He played like the Froggy character. But I don't know if they actually, did they call him Froggy there? And the Ben Affleck Daredevil vehicle with his ex-wife. Ah, come on, that looks like it would fit there. Doesn't. Okay. Okay. Yes! Good. All right, so we got, I guess we got so many sides of things. So many sides. Just sides and sides. These look like these might go together. Nope, not the right color. Slightly darker gray. Oh boy. Ooh, that looks that looks really distorted like that. Doesn't it look so weird. Okay, so I don't know what that goes to, but um Hmm. This looks like it fits there. Ah, look at that. Really? You don't? I've not played Day of the Tentacle. I saw a little bit of it played when Hippo played it, but I have not played it. I've had a little bit of a um, tough time 
with some Lucas Arts games. Like I played Monkey Island, um, and it was fun, but it also like almost killed me. And then I played for actually Nintendo um, Zach McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders, and I tried to pick that up two or three times. And it feels like the kind of game where they're like, oh, we just expect you to fail a lot and then eventually look in the guide. And I don't like that. I'm like, I know Sierra games can be like that too, but Sierra gives you, I feel like they give you a sense of direction by you know you can't do it because, I don't know. There's no real reason. They're just, they're different approaches. And, um... I know Day of the Tentacles like the sequel to Maniac Mansion. But I feel like a lot of it, I don't know. I'm going to try to try it, even though it looks fun. Because I'm worried I won't, uh, it'll just kill me, like mentally. <laughs> and I'll be angry about it. And I don't want to be super angry. I don't know. I will eventually have to play it. I think I actually have it on my GOG list. And maybe it'll be a different experience, but I all I know is a rough time. Sure, man. What I like about LucasArts is, for the most part, there are no dead ends. Yeah. Well, I know there are in Zach McCracken because I hit a bunch of them. But for a lot of times, I know they're not. But something about I I don't know. Like it's I I feel like there's some sort of thread that you need to follow when you're playing it that you like understand that I am not getting. Like almost like when someone plays Sierra game and they've never played any Sierra games and they, they're like so upset about something and you're like, wait, that's just how they are. Like you just know that and that means this. Like you kind of know there's a certain, you kind of understand where the game's going and I was not getting that with, um, yeah, Zack and Maniac. So I don't know, like I need to, I need to, I don't want to say get back on the horse. That's a weird thing to say, but. I think I just need to try them again and this is figure ah yes and and figure out like what it is that I need to understand about them to keep going with them but yeah I've seen I saw part of a hippo stream of them and it looked really fun of day of the tentacle there's a lot of really funny jokes in that oh someone recommended to me and I don't know who it is and I'm so sorry the toys that made us and Russ and I watched the Star Wars one and we watched the Barbie one and they're both like really fun. Yeah, there's some really obtuse ones in there. In, 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 I forgot where I got stuck on Monkey Island, but I was getting madder. Oh, well, this is every game. I don't know why it matters. It shouldn't matter whether it's Sierra or LucasArts. Because they all have that moment where you're just like ready to throw the game through the window. Because you just can't, there's like an obscure puzzle or, excuse me, sorry for the yawn. Um, once you're done with it, you're like, oh, this makes perfect sense, but, or it doesn't make sense at all either way. But then you could not see it for the life of you. You're just like, what? Okay, that's not going to match up. I think, I don't know, maybe I don't have the Nist, which I will play them. I'm not saying I'm not going to play them or that I dislike them. Um, I think, too, because I didn't play them as a kid, I don't have the same level of nostalgia tolerance like I do with Sierra games where I'm like, oh, yeah, this is driving me crazy, but, you know, this is such a nostalgic feeling. Even if I haven't played, oh, good, that particular game before. Ooh, what is, I wonder, hmm, what goes along the bottom? Is it going to be teeth, maybe? I just have a high top, you know what I mean? But I need to. I really, like, I enjoyed a lot of the jokes in, um, in I, like, I love the insult sword fight in Monkey Island. Like, that was really fun. Um, I liked Guy Threepwood's name because I thought that was really funny. There's a lot of, like, really funny characters. Like, I think, um, I think in a lot of ways Sierra comes by its good characters almost by accident, where it's sort of like, they didn't realize this character was going to come out this way and it did. And that's why it's so funny. But I think Lucas actually spends a lot of time making really good characters, which is fun. Okay. 
Nope. So we've got this. This is one complete side to something. We just don't know what. <laughs> all right, let's see. Let me, okay, let's, we got all these big, huge pieces. There's got to be some place to put them. Ah, you want to fit there. Come on. You're not going to? Boo. Ah, yay. Okay. So this one's, oh, wait, that's the wrong they're the same size, but it's the wrong side. Like, it's they're the same side. So I was like, oh, they can fit together. No, they can't. Come on. You may want to fit there. Ashton says, yeah, I managed to grow up with a little bit of both, so I don't seem to have the irritation about mechanics in LucasArts or Sierra the way most people do. They just are because that's how they were when I was a kid. Exactly. Sherman, you saw a really interesting video that breaks down the design and story of Monkey Island 1. If you get a chance, if you can throw that in Discord for me, I'd love to see what that is. Like, watch that. I think it'd be really interesting. I'm not really entirely sure, like, why LucasArts started gunning for Sierra's, like, point-and-click genre. Like, why? I wonder why they threw themselves into that. I mean, George definitely had enough on his plate. Look at, mm, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, it's got some minor spoilers from Monkey. Okay, well, still throw it in there. I'll look it up later when I'm done with the Monkey. <laughs> if years from now, when I'm done with all the Monkey Island games, I'll look it up, and then I'll be like, "Ha, Chairman was right." Also, other people in in the Discord probably have not have played it or. Are not planning to either way. I I don't know. They probably all played it before. It's so funny to have to think about uh, spoilers for games that are probably like twenty years old or older, depending on which one. It's like that's spoilery. It's like the game has been around for a long time. <laughs> but it, I haven't played them yet. <laughs> Go play Kyrandia too. Yeah. I really want to. I have to put up that. I I have that on my my gog list. Ah. Wahahaha. Just watch it. By the time you get around to them, you'll have forgotten. That's true. <laughs> I'll be like, what? I'm surprised all over again. Yes. Okay, I got this one. Come on. So which? Hmm. Where's the other long piece? I oh, yeah. Oh, wrong side. All right. Let's put this down here for a second. Clear some room. See, these are the same. Same hue here. Both super dark. And they probably. Hmm. Yes! Okay, good. So this one has a beginning and an end. Beautiful. Ah, uh, that's not gonna work. Alright, where are you, pieces? Hmm. Somewhere there's, a, okay, let me see. I need to pull out of this for a little bit. Somewhere there's a, a long bottom piece. There has to be a long side piece that's not claimed. It's not this one. <sighs> see, these look like they go together, but they don't. I don't think, no. Actually, they don't even look like they go together, so I don't know what I'm thinking with that. Mm, maybe this one? Nope. Hmm. There's got to be a side piece to this one that's on this side. Maybe, oh look, that, maybe that one? Yes! Okay, cool. Okay, good. Yes! Alright, so 
Huh. Maybe this one better than this one? <gasps> yes! Okay, nice. We're getting this together. Look how much pro I mean, we're making a lot of progress. You copy pasted where you posted the video in another Discord. <laughs> Thanks, DS6. Why sometimes the threes in those games are not like I've heard the third um Gabriel Knight's not good. It's all like 3D animation. Which makes me sad because I love Gabriel Knight. I also have plans to play Broken Sword. I really want to play that game. I just haven't yet. Okay, so we've got, oh, I'm so excited guys. I mean, I know this looks, but look, we have a lot of like almost completed pieces here. So as we like get through these, we're gonna have just a bunch of sides that are gonna go up on these buildings and I'm really excited about that. <sighs> no. Broken Sword does look really good. I'm very excited about that. I'm also very excited for Indie Night. I have a bunch of these um, new, well, semi-new FMV Sherlock Holmes games. And I'm really excited about that too. You're watching Footsteps play it. There you go. Oh, oh. I was gonna ask. I need to ask footsteps. I'm getting in her stream because I know she's. Uh, I wonder if she's gonna stream more than just on Saturdays. Because Saturday is always hard for me to to sit down and tune in. You had to try hard not to pay too close attention so you can play it yourself someday. Exactly. That's what with Hippo streams when he's playing games and I'm like, ah, I wanna, I wanna go in there. But if I go in there, I I haven't played this game yet. Come on, what's your dealio? What's your dealio, yo? Oh, that looks, no, that's not quite. What? Uh, no, not quite right. Hmm. These all seem to be. Okay, where were the, the other ones are down here. Let's go take a look. It's hard not to watch games you want to see but need to play. Yes, and it's when you watch a game and it's based on, it's not based on puzzle solving per se. You can play it again in a totally different way. You can be like, oh, I'll play this, but I'm not gonna, I'm, you know, I it doesn't make my thumbs twitch any faster. But when it's like a puzzle based game, then you're like, oh well. Kind of does tell me everything I need to know. <laughs> oh, that's why you weren't around for Mackenzie and Co. Yes, I know it's kind of a joke, but I really want to play that game. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> I feel like my schedule's been weird and so I haven't, like normally I'd be able to watch a lot of hippo streams and I just have not been able to be there, which is a bummer because I enjoyed those a lot and I enjoy the quizzes beforehand. Even though most of the time they're about, like every once in a while they'll hit my wheelhouse and I'll be like, yes, I know what this is. Okay, that's, oh boy. Oh boy, that looks like that should fit there, but it does not. Weird, weird, weird. Mm. Quizzes are fun. Okay. Yes, especially if you know the answers. I forget which one it was. This is a while ago. I'm like, I know this, I know this. And I like, I got like 10 of them and I was so proud. I'm like, I know these, I, I know this. 
Look at this. Like, how? What fits in there? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, yo, go. <laughs> about the quizzes or about, like, how fast he catches on to the puzzles? Yeah, his stream is very... Yeah, that's why I don't do... Um, I don't do currency in my, my chat. Like, even though I have a bot and I could do that, um, because I feel like, oh boy, these look like these fit in there though. <gasps> yes! Because he does such a good job with making his currency, like, mean something in a way that I could, like, it's so organized. Like, how, like, you know, like, it, <sighs> I like the system so much because it makes so much sense to me. Like, I know... Like, oh, this is what I need, and this is what happens, and this is how you get your game up there, and it makes logical sense, and it's, I mean, it's very fair to my mind. Yes! This is a whole piece. Look, bye-bye, piece! Um, to my mind, it's very fair. Um, although, you know, sometimes it can be unfair, but it's very fair to, like, get your game played. Yay, look at that! It's, like, super meaningful in a way that I'm like, I don't know how it would make a system that's not a complete ripoff of his system that would be meaningful. Like in that way, like where it's directly, like, I like that. It makes sense to me. And the organization to keep it all straight so no one feels like they got um, burned for the most part. Like for me, most of the time, like just getting just getting the stream started and like getting here and anywhere close to approximate time of start is like some nothing short of like a miracle. I'm like, I'm here. My camera works, you know, like hopefully I'm not doing this the whole game where like my eyes are here. There's the other piece. See, now that I know what it is, I can spot it. Here we go. What? Yep, and you have to fit here because there's not really. Is there another one? A weird, another weird gold? Let's look if we can find that. So this one says no. So where's the other weird gold foot? This has a little gold foot in the bottom of this. Anyway, not gushing about uh, hippo stream anymore, but he's thinks in an organized way that I. Oh look. What are you doing over there? You're in the wrong spot. Um, that I would love to have for this dream. To be as... Or ah! There's the golden foot. Yeah, it's very organized and fair. Which is... Which I know... <laughs> or organized and fair make, makes equals fun. But to me it does. Like it does. Oh, see, look, these are like... What? are hooked together like this how is that even gonna okay so we've got this one probably what that one doesn't go there well anyway I thought I was gonna say it's it's the amount of thought that goes into that is crazy Oh, okay, cool. We got this. So what does that mean? Does oh, Eesh. I don't think people realize how much work it takes to if you if you if you watch streams and you know, organize streams like how much work that actually takes to get everything to work together. Why are you not? How is this not a whole piece? That's so, look at this. So we've got this one on this side. Oh, does this one go on the other side? Hang on. You guys are probably yelling at home. It goes, goes that way. Can't you see it? I'll be like, nope. Like. How did that, so it's like this goes here and this goes here. So does this go up here? No. All right, I gotta find this piece. 
This is much too chill for anyone to be yelling. <laughs> you never know. You know, it's surprising to me. There's always someone who can come into chat and tell you you're doing everything wrong. Alright, I don't know how this is going to... So I either need another little piece up there or something. Dark World Rabbit says, right up there with organized streams are well edit edited YouTube videos. Like so much work goes into doing that. Yeah. When you see something that's well edited, that is a crazy amount of work. Like I, th one time I did like a half try. Um, I never published it cause I didn't finish it, but I'm like, I really wanted to do like an actual sort of a vlog review of um, the fact that my brain's not picking this up is just being a jerk. Um, oh, it's Sierra title. Oh, the Dagger of Amun Ra. I wanted to actually do like sort of a vlog review of it. Like we actually, like my face is as big as the game is. And then you edit scenes and you talk about it. And, um, it, I just got, I started to drown in it and I'm like, now I don't even know why I wanted to do this. And I kind of set it aside for a while and then never came back to it because it takes a lot of work to do that and to not be self-conscious. Like it's easier for me not to be self-conscious when I'm doing this because I'm not really seeing it as it's going up. I mean, I know that you guys are watching or talking and stuff, but it's not the same as like sitting there playing it back and hearing yourself and like hypercritically watching yourself and also trying to do all the edits and stuff to make it look smooth. Ashton says, I watch any munition sometimes and she puts so much effort into her intros and outros. I feel like she's her own best marketing department. It must take so much time. Yeah. You have, and you have to be good at, yes. And the amount of time it takes to do stuff and catch your mistakes. Like I could not imagine. I mean, I can't imagine very well. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> no, to be fair, I can totally imagine. Uh, and I bowed out of them. I'm like, bye. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead and not do that. But yeah, that's so much work. There's so many people that do cool stuff on YouTube that'll have like super small audiences too. And they're doing it for basically like, I don't know, like a hundred people. And they do like really cool just stuff. It's amazing to me the kind of skills you can have. Dark World Rabbit, you need so much raw footage to condense down into the 10 minute episode format that's common on YouTube. I mean, that's not a requirement for YouTube, but it's the norm and like 30, 40, 60 minutes at least goes in the 10 minute digestible hunk. Yeah. The amount and then figuring out what's even good. And people want videos like every day or like three videos a week or like, you know, no one does I mean, realistically, you'd probably spend a month on a video. Oh, that looks like that would fit with that, maybe. Um, and it's so not funny. I don't mean like funny, but it's like no one has a month to spend on a video. Yes. Okay, good. We got this. this is a completed piece. Goodbye, irritating piece. This is its own piece. This is not. So you have to do that in like how many hours? Ashton's like, yeah, and then learning skills you may not already have. I don't have animator graphics design mind. Yeah. And sound. Sound's such a big deal. People care about sound so much. Yay! Congrats, yes. I feel good about that. Even though it's a small piece. I'm like, I, I did it. Another completed piece. We still, we didn't get a new video, though. We're still on porch. Porch. Porch, 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 porch. Porch, 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 porch. All right, um... This means I need to get a little closer on. Hmm. This is such a big... Huh. No, that doesn't fit on there anyhow. 
So we have a bunch of just, these are hard to tell because they're so, look at this. What are you doing over here? You belong to somebody. Yeah, I cannot imagine. And just well curated stuff like and making sure all your stuff's interesting and on point or educational. Like how many educational YouTubers are there out there? And I'm not saying conspiracy theories, um, but like people who actually are spending their time doing like educational stuff that's just like things you learn about. Like people who do um, like wood carving videos and all that kind of stuff. And they're like educating people on all these things and it's like, that's so much work. You're creating a thing and then you're also doing a video about creating the thing. And then you're also doing a tutorial video about creating the thing. Oh, I love, yeah, the Green Brothers. Hank and John Green, Vlog Brothers. I love them. They're great. I haven't read Turtles all the way down yet and I'm, I need to, but I haven't, I'm on the list of the library. It's going to be a while. Hank Green's fun. Yeah, Crash Course and, and um, SciShow and that stuff's fun too. Yeah, the amount of work I cannot. Well, they've got a whole team now. Definitely have like a whole company, but definitely like when you're on your own, like it's crazy. <laughs> you found a guy who does work work on woodwork on Twitch. He's for like four cameras and a setup just blows me away. Yeah, because you have to think about making the thing and then the production di design for the thing. Twitch Premiere stuff is pretty good. You might start uploading videos to that in a month or so. Um, yeah, were you? I think that's interesting. To, I'm interested to see where that goes. Um, I know. That's where like you can, you put together a video, you upload it and you can decide when you want it to premiere and you can tell your audience about it and they can show up um, to watch it play and then they can watch it after that. But you can actually be there and chat. Sorry, I'm yawning. I'm not yawning because the subject, I'm just, oh, it's 12.42, that's why I'm yawning. Oh, I'm so close to getting some of this stuff put to rest. Yeah, it's like YouTube where you upload a video and sit and chat and discuss it with them. Oh. Stop kicking over my drink. Well, I agree with Dark and with Ashen. I think it's cool if you're doing your own videos. Yes, it, fr it frustrates me that it, it, it replaced the old upload. Because when I lost, also, and Twitch lost more of my highlights. Thank you, Twitch. They actually sent me an email that just, they had a glitch that I lost like five or six. When I want to put those back up, like, I can't just... Say like, can I just make these available for people to look at in my videos? It's like, I have to premiere them. I can't premiere them at the same time. So I have like a, I don't know, seven day period of a premiere every morning. Yeah. It's always hard when you, so the great thing about Twitch is it's an amazing platform with a bunch of people kind of built in who go there. So, and it's still smaller in some ways than YouTube and people are looking for things live. So there's like a different vibe to it. Um, and like I, the fact that I have close to 650 uh, um, fo follows here and I would never get that close to that on YouTube because people couldn't even find me. And if they did, there's a lot more options. But um, it's cool. But then they change stuff. Same way with YouTube, they change stuff. And then they, uh, then you can't, there's nothing you can do. It's changed. <laughs> <laughs> you have no, there's no ability to be like, no, 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 no. I want to go back to the previous version of the software for what I'm doing. They don't really let you do that. 
Yeah, I think they should have kept the normal upload too. Just give us tools that people can decide how they want to work them. Let people decide like how they want to deal with stuff. What is this? This looks really, where's that other one I had down here? It looks like it, but I can't find it. Dark World Rabbits. And I'll be interested to see what kind of format emerges, emerges, like, emerges like, will people really sit in live chat video that's 10 minutes long, even if you can replay it multiple times a day? Yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see if something happens or nothing happens. Because that's the way it kind of goes too. You kind of see that a little bit. It's like, well, uh, all of a sudden this is a big thing on Twitch and everyone's doing it, or it just kind of slowly fades into obscurity. It'd be interesting to see what happens with it. I'll be interested to see, I don't know. It's always interesting to Amazon because Amazon owns Twitch and Amazon's always interested. It's more interested in quantity like with stuff like this than quantity. Like you see it a lot with Amazon publishing houses or like basically Amazon is, is its publishing house is what I should say. We see like hour long edited content. I could see you doing that for like an, a special event. Like if I was doing, so if I was doing a, um, like some sort of big, like retro, like big thing, like, oh, it's my three year anniversary and you guys want to see all my bloopers back to back. And it's like an hour of sort of like an, a, a bloopers extravaganza show thing that I did. I'm going to be in chat. Like maybe I could pull that off. Although an hour seems like a long time. Um, and edit that together and be like, oh, I'll sit and chat and we'll just laugh about whatever I did wrong. Ha ha. Maybe, but I couldn't do that all the time. I don't think and hold people's attention. Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, to say about Amazon, it's interesting with the Amazon kind of behind there. I actually am doing this thing. Um, it's kind of for fun. I don't know. Some people do it and get eventually get to a level they get. I guess, um, get some money for it, but I'm not sure what level that is, but like we, you review, you get like a free Amazon book and you review it. So you can rev like you, and you have to have certain guidelines with review. Like it doesn't have to be a positive review, but it has to be like, oh, it has to be five paragraphs. At least it has to be this many words. Um, it has to be free, fairly free of grammatical errors. It has to be, and you actually like submit it. And then the editors look at it and they send you a score, like based on, if you don't follow the guidelines, like, like, especially like, uh, the format for what the title of the book has to be in there and how many words and how many paragraphs, then they just don't publish it. But then you get like approved and you get like a percentage and that score goes into the sort of rubric they have like, oh, if you post this many videos, so basically, or not many videos, reviews. I don't know why I said videos because we're talking about that, but basically it's like, it's, um, you get a free book and then you can positively or negatively, um, review it, but they're mostly like Amazon self-published books, which isn't necessarily bad, but I've been doing this for, um, a couple of months now and there's just a lot of not good stuff, like, which isn't surprise to self-publish because some of it, sometimes people self-publish because they can't, because they have this really good book and people don't believe in it. And they're tired of going to traditional publishers and they want to get it published. They want to get it out into people's hands. And that's why they self-publish or because there's such like a niche market for their book that, um, publishers kind of don't want to touch it or they want freedom to do whatever they want or whatever it is. Um, but sometimes they self-publish because they shouldn't, you know, they shouldn't see, <laughs> <laughs> this book shouldn't, it's not ready to see the light of day. I guess what I'm trying to say, it's not great. Like they're not ready to publish a book. They're just not. And, and they did it anyway. <laughs> and it's like, ah, you're not ready for this, but because it's free for them to do. Ashton says, ah, oh, bummer. That's such a good idea. Otherwise, but I have read some really good stuff. Like I read this, um, I'm writing a review right now. Uh, and it's for a book. It was written by this brother sister team and they're from, um, oh boy, I don't want to get this wrong. They're from Jordan and it's about, it's a, it's like a, there's a, it's a novel, but they're like about a, like basically it's kind of three short stories woven into a novel and it's really good. Um, 
You bring, <laughs> you bring so much garbage. I'm such a sucker for trash romance fiction. <laughs> you should, um, actually, I should, I don't know. You should, if you're interested, say so in Discord and I'll publish the link for you guys if you really want it. But you should do it, Dark, because there's a ton of that. And you get to pick which book you get. Like, you say, when you finish your book that you read and you have, like, you have 30 days to finish the book. Then you have 10 days to write a review. If you finish the book before 30 days, you can start writing the review and then just say, oh, and then publish it. And then once you publish your review, you can go on to the next book and you can pick. And there's like five or six choices every time. And the better you, like the higher your score is that you turn them in on, like you turn your reviews in on time. The more people that read your reviews, you get better choices. But there's always a ton of trash romance fiction in there to pick from. There's always a lot. So if you like that and you want free, those free books or you'd like to review those books, um, then that's a great thing. And like if you get to a certain level, then you get paid, not paid to write a positive review, but paid to write a review whether it's positive or not, supposedly. But that's not why I'm doing it. I did it because I thought it'd be um, a good motivation to finish books and I wanted to get free books. But now I'm like, I read one science fiction book and it was really not good. And then I felt bad because like, and, but she's a really popular, like Amazon author. Like she has a lot of book series and people like her books a lot. And I was just like, this is not, well, edit, like, this is not good. <laughs> but then I'm like, well, you know, there's a lot of stuff I don't like that. Um, other people like, which is fine, but it's interesting to see. Anyway, it's just interesting to see with the Amazon platform, which is more about getting content, getting things out there more than it is about, um, having big superstars like Amazon. I don't think cares about having big superstars as much as it cares about having a million people that can sell a couple of books or more than a couple. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's late. It's 1251 my time. I'm blathering, but it's, I don't know. If you guys are interested in doing it, I can give you the link and you can sign up to do it. If you want free, I mean, the biggest thing is you get free books. Some of them might be already free on am, am, like on um, Kindle and you can get them on Kindle or Nook. A lot of, and the books are coming usually from, so they're not just Amazon, but I have, um, I have the Kindle app on my, on my phone. So I usually get the Kindle format of whatever it is, but anyway. There's a lot of, there's a lot of romance fiction. There's a lot of, um, pseudoscience books, which is funny to you. Like, it's like, wow, this is a book on nutrition. But then you look at the author and they're like, they have no background in nutrition, like whatsoever. Like, and I'm like, eh. like they have no, they're just somebody who said, I'm going to write a nutrition book. And they're, like, they're not a doctor. They're not a nurse. They're not a personal trainer. They're not like anybody who would have anything to do with it. And they're like, this is why you should just eat potatoes, like not potatoes, but like the, like, it's like a weird kind of pseudoscience-y thing. And I'm like, ah, I'm not going to read you. Dark World Rabbit. Like I've studied quite a bit about like how to structure romance and a few other genres. And when those authors publish like a stream of consciousness romances that don't even have any structure, I'm like, no. Yeah. And for me, like I'm... I'm not a big purple prose person. So if they have like a lot and like, I know I speak in probably redundancies, but like when they say, um, when they like repeat themselves or they, they refuse to say like, he said, she said, they're like, she barked, you know, she grumped like, like, like they use, they just say all this stuff. Like, um, she hissed, like people were always hissing all the time. They hissed, they, blah, blah you know, she exclaimed. It's like, just say, just say she said. <laughs> just say they said. You know, that's all you have to do. Like sometimes you need to, but most of the time you don't. Like, <laughs> yes! Victory! Anyway, the book that I really enjoyed was really good. Um, and it was really cool because there's all this cultural stuff that I wouldn't have known um, that was really interesting to like read. The one that I really saw, like I got to read that book for free. I would have never picked that book up. Chairman says, I follow this bot on Twitter that combines excerpts from romance novels with video game memes. <laughs> what does that come out as, I wonder? 
Like, how does that fit together? That's so, that, I bet it would be really funny. <laughs> Ashen's like, what? What's that? Please share. <laughs> this game is so quiet, so whenever I get a completed piece and it goes bling, I'm like, whoa. Okay, this feels like this should go, but this not. It's gonna be, it's gonna make the other half of the triangle. You can see there's like a space here where there's, there must be a window or something. And it's gotta fit like this. Like it's gotta make the other half of the window. Look, these are the wrong side though. Oh, maybe, nope. Hmm. These probably fit on this though. See, those look like they go together, but they don't. <laughs> German says she wrapped him in her arms, pulling his tight, pulling his tightly against her, loving the way he felt. <laughs> Sierra games were better than Lucas Arts. <laughs> That's great. Oh, that cracks me up. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? Okay. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, it's the wrong side for this. Look. Like, I'm like, oh, it fits. Nope. <sighs> See, these look like they almost match up. <laughs> BG Erotica is the account. I wonder, so this is amazing to me that people just, do, I mean, maybe this is, this is a team doing this, but like somebody spent time putting together that bot and just throwing it up there for everyone's enjoyment in general. Like for not for not to get paid for it. Oh, there we go. That fit well. You really need to clean out your followers on Twitter. Follows on Twitter, you don't get half the content you want on there anymore. I think I think Twi Twitter's algorithm just stinks right now. I feel like. It's not, I mean, I'm following a lot of people, but a lot of them don't tweet all the time. But it's like when I'm, so let's say I get some time in like a doctor's office and I just want to go through tweets. Like I'll go down and I won't get to see, like it doesn't show me all the tweets in like order. It just shows me tweets it thinks I want. And I'm like, no, I have time. I just want to sit here and look through what people have said. And if there's anything interest, I can, interesting I can comment on it, but it'll show me somebody's tweet from like two days ago as like a new tweet because it thinks I want that instead of showing me what people are tweeting right now. It's like, I actually want to just see what people are tweeting right now. <laughs> like, like right now, just what they're tweeting right now. And I'll like, I'm sure like it seems, and I've had people do this too before. Oh, nope. Well, they'll like, like something I tweeted like a week ago. And I'm like, what? And I'm like, oh, it's just, it showed them, it showed them at that point because it decided that they would want to see that then. But I, I'm like, if I have, I don't know, I probably follow like 300 people, um, which seems like a lot, but I don't know, maybe it's not. But I should be able to, if I'm scrolling down on my phone and I want to see the latest tweets and I want it to update, it should just be showing me what everyone's saying, like one after another, instead of what it does, which is show me tweets from like three days ago, four days ago, or like not show me, like I would have to go to each person I follow and like look through their feed. I'm like, no, I just want to see, like, I don't always have time to look through Twitter, but if I'm waiting to get my root canal, then yeah, like, <laughs> show me everything. I think the algorithm they're doing is trying to make it so Twitter doesn't collapse in on itself, but it's irritating because it doesn't actually, for me, I'm like, I just want, I, 
This is Twitter's supposed to be immediate. Facebook is the thing if you want to see Dark World Rabbit. Like my Facebook is for gaming, game developing, and retro gaming. But I follow a bunch of LGBT people too, and I see all I get to see right now is like politics and drama. Like this is why I have a personal Facebook account for politics and drama. <laughs> Yeah, like Facebook is where I, uh, it's like family. For me, the only Facebook account I have is like a family account. So it's like I see all my family, my grandmas are on Facebook. I see like my aunt fighting with her kids because her grown kids, like they're like they're, they like to stir the pot with her. Like she's a nice person, but they just like to get under her skin and stuff and like whoever. I see all that kind of stuff and the political because of course no one agrees in politics in a family. But I don't want to really want to see that, you know on Twitter. Like I don't need Twitter for politics or news. Like I have my, I, I, I'll keep on news how I can handle for my mental health and like politics, like on Twitter is just like, Oh boy, you're not going to get a thoughtful conversation. You're going to get a lot of, a lot of torch carrying. <laughs> and like, ah. It doesn't matter what anyone says. People are going to be carrying burning torches <laughs> towards them. Oh, there we go. I know the, well, it's just crazy to me. Like I know Kevin Smith. Um, so he recently had a really serious heart attack, and he almost died. Like it was bad. Um, he canceled his show and went. And I was like, ah. Oh. And I saw that right away. But um, oh crap! I can't remember his name. I knew I wa used to watch him on um, bef on Parks and Rec before he was even in Marvel movies. He plays Star Lord. What's his name? Crap! I cannot think of his name. What is his name? I can see his face. Jeez, my brain is shutting down. Anyway, the guy who plays Star-Lord, who is also on Parks and Rec, he, um, he said, hey, you know, something about, like, praying for Kevin with his heart attack or whatever, like, hey, send positive thoughts and prayers his, his way or whatever, because he just had, like, a heart attack. No, not Chris Evans. No, no, no. Um, it was basically just a nice message to say, like, hey, you know, I really liked Clerks or whatever, he said, um, and whatever, and Chris Pratt, and people, like, freaked out on him, like, freaked, freaked out, like, oh, how dare you say, and it was just, like, a really general message, and then Kevin had to be, like, his, he's, like, after he's better, had to say, please stop yelling at Chris Pratt, like, <laughs> he was being very nice, <laughs> like, He's like, he wasn't telling me not to go to a doctor. He was just, he, he's like, if you don't, if you don't want to send positive thoughts my way, you don't feel like you need to, but <laughs> he's like, I almost died from a heart attack. I was happy to see the guy who played Star Lord sending me a positive message, <laughs> like a positive message. But it was so funny to me. I'm just like, oh boy. Oh, look, that looks like it should fit and it still doesn't fit. Whether or not, you know, totally fine. Whatever, but um, it was just funny to me that 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 was something people would be so angry about. They'd be like yelling about it. It's like I don't know if you're wishing something somebody like if somebody's you're trying to be positive to somebody and they're not upset. Why are you upset? Hey, Elliot, Victorian Mansion puzzle forever. You can only hope. <laughs> Ashen loves you so much, but I'm like all I do is like go off in weird tangents because my brain is trying to figure out this puzzle. And then I also realize I have to talk at the same time. It's like Dante's Inferno with the friendly host. <laughs> look, 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 look. If you haven't seen this lately, oh, hang on. Look, Allie, I got so much, look, I got so much of this done. Look, look how, look how much more I got done here. We have plenty of like cool stuff done. <laughs> Gazebo expansion. <laughs> Hopefully, we get this done. We can solve the murder mystery, and then I can move on to a completely different puzzle if I want. And then I'll just start on instead of doing did this time where I was like I'll do bronze, then I'll do gold, then I'll do like next time um, if we play like there's a bunch there's like four or five of them. 
Um, then I'll uh, I'll just go right. I'll jump right to um, platinum level, and then just we can solve the whole murder murder mystery at one time instead of splitting it up. Jen is not high enough level to fight a gazebo. Exactly. <laughs> the read that is Jen isn't high enough. I mean, that's true, too. Because <laughs> I'm not at all. <sighs> nope, not at all. <laughs> Other than tired. Sleep deprivation, I guess. Okay, so I've got all these like like end pieces and very frustrating because this looks like it should flip over and fit here. Because look, this is the outside of some sort of window that's inset and this is the same thing. <sighs> all right. Yay! Okay, okay. What did that do? What did that do? Nope, I thought that made me fit together. <laughs> She's high on the great feeling that she goes along with completing puzzles. It is, like... <laughs> I think what's happening is when I get tense, I, like, hold my breath so I'm like... <gasps> and I get ox oxygen deprivation, so maybe that's something. I don't know. <sighs> Look at all these. We're so close to something. Like, we're so close to something happening. I don't know what, but something. It'd be nice if they gave us through us another video. <laughs> Jen, and Jen, would you ever consider taking puzzle performance enhancing drugs? Probably not. <laughs> I, could, I could do so many more puzzles. I could complete this puzzle in an afternoon. I wouldn't be want to be kicked out of the amateur puzzle ranking association for taking puzzle enhancing drugs. <laughs> Still looks like it would almost fit. Got all these weird like slanty ones. They're like one way or another. They're like, and I know they're for oh what's this? They're for like a window like this, but there's inset so weird. Auto Victorian asphyxiation? Hopefully not. <laughs> what a sad news story that would be. So sad. <laughs> it's very niche. <laughs> it would be in the news. What are young people doing now? It's sweeping the nation. It's so dangerous. I mean, after Tide Pods became a thing, I just, I realized anything is possible for internet intention, I guess. Okay. Boo. I wanted this to fit somewhere, but why is this weirdly pink on this side? How did it do that? That's weird. Look at this angle. It's like little pink stuff here. <laughs> Imagine Jen on Adderall to answers in one night. I actually have fairly decent focus. It probably wouldn't do that much for me. <laughs> Since I don't have ADD. Then it would just make me more disorganized. Because I, I would be so like hyper. Because I'm not hyper. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, what am I doing here? I keep saying all right. It's like I'm uh, a less interesting Matthew McConaughey because he's like, all right, all right, all right. And I'm like, all right, all right. Ah, yeah, that one fit. Good. <laughs> 
Ellie hits is the youth are dressing in period clothing, attempting 3D puzzles while holding their breath to get a euphoric high. More at 11. <laughs> and then I would get a, a Facebook message from my grandma telling me to say, saying that she saw this in the news and I should be very concerned. Oh, look, that almost looks like it fits. Dang it. Look, see, it's like, look, it's uh, almost. <laughs> Action says, oh man, Jen, consider all the mansions. I'm not saying it's the right thing. Just that I would be there to watch and see all those mansions being fit. <laughs> oh no. There'd be all these messages. Stop. Stop supporting Jen and her habit. You're making it worse. We have to have an intervention. <laughs> Jerrion says, it's that, all right, time for me to go, but you can't finish the sentence because you need to connect just one more piece. <laughs> this is Jen's Dark Souls. I mean, this is about my speed for Dark Souls. <laughs> it's like, look. <laughs> Does the entire Monkey Island series in one 24-hour stream? I don't know how people do it. I can handle about three hours at a time. I went overtime tonight, but this is definitely chillax. I don't know. I'm like, oh my gosh, my brain would fry. I'm already yawning like crazy because it's like 1 a.m. my time. Oh, I want these to... There's so many, like, look, right side, right side. And there's left side, left side. They should fit, like, s somehow. Hmm... Would you consider racing puzzles on a stream? What's racing puzzles? Like, would someone else be doing a puzzle at the same time? <laughs> and you'd be trying to be each other's time? It only took me... <laughs> then it'd be like, you'd have to break it up and you'd be like, well, they got it in five months and I got it in six, so I lost. <laughs> it took them six months. It took me six months. It took them only five months to finish this. Oh, speed puzzling. Oh my gosh. Speed puzzling is a hard... I, anything with speed in front of it's a hardcore scene. You both start at the same time and see who's finishes first. <laughs> it would depend on the size of the puzzle and what it was. <laughs> and that monster who both been had her all, of course. <laughs> the historians will say, and now's the downfall of Jen McClass's channel. Once Jen's turned into Adderall, went to rehab five times, then her career was over. <laughs> but not about the puzzles, really. I would that'd be something interesting to do. That might be really fun. There's gotta be a game. There's gotta be a game you can kind of do that with that's already set up. Speed napping only five, <laughs> only five times. <laughs> oh, camera on your table, and then you try and see how fast. Oh, that would be interesting. I know technically, like I'm streaming under the puzzling community, um, and I just realized after I clicked on them tonight on that community, like in the guidelines it says oh, physical puzzles only, and I'm like, well sort of a physical puzzle. Oh, they'll yell at me later if they really are upset about it. <sighs> Sorry, but set up, yeah, a small puzzle on a table and just seeing how fast you can do it. The stress of that would just be like, ah! And then you have to get the same dollar store puzzle. <laughs> we'll put it in in real life puzzling. <laughs> All right, oh boy. Well, look at, let me see. Let me just see what I got here. Make sure I'm doing this correctly. Control S. I wanna make sure I save it before I do anything else just in case I ended up screwing it up. There we go. Look how much stuff I got done, guys. The gray is actually starting to look like some 
actual um, roofing. This is still the same as last time, which we've got a bunch of clocks and a bunch of plant life put together, but not a whole lot else. Um, but I definitely, oh, let me see. Let's see if we can put this stuff on my, oh, this is the creepy room one. There we go. Where is this? I wonder, oh, look, we can put this somewhere. I saw it flash for a second. Maybe not. Where's that piece? We had a really big piece of roofing. Oops, there we go. Ha ha! Wow, that was a really fuzzy thing to have happen. Oh, there we go. Look, it goes here. Whee! Okay, let me turn around this way so I can get some more on there. Oh, this is the top of the tower, which I kind of knew, but it's cool how it lets you put it together. Whee! You thought for a second you were looking at a puzzle graveyard? No, it's just they uh since we're on platinum they don't um they don't show you anything like they don't show you the outline of the house anymore you just got to figure it out so not only do you have to uh figure this stuff out you have to figure out where it goes those like crosses they sort of do yeah the um the things that are on top of the porch whatever those are the thingy things the thingy thingy things well, all right. Um, thank you so much, guys. You make this so fun. Like, uh, this could be just me sitting here by myself, but instead it's with you guys. So that makes it a good time. And you listen to me ramble on and, um, you know, about whatever. So I appreciate that so much. I'll be back on Monday. I'm really excited for King's Quest VI. I will, I will, I will put it in Discord, too. But I really need to put up a poll of what we're going to play next. Um, because even though... King's Quest Six, I think, has a little ways to go. I like to get my ducks in a row beforehand, so I need to do that. But thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for being um, great, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> Good luck avoiding puzzle building dreams. <laughs> the anxiety of dream where you have to build a puzzle within a specific period of time and then you can't do it. Yeah, I'll try and avoid that. Um, I will see you. Ooh, look, I can get out. Can I get out of here? Here we go. There we go. I will see you guys next time. Bye.